Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone guys. It's a beautiful sunny day in Florida. I had to get out of the house though um, and I didn't feel right hanging out in the lanai and swimming in the pool because we've got some workers in the house. We had barn doors on our pantry door um, when we built this house and we decided they're noisy. We don't like them and so they're taking them out and putting in some beautiful frosted doors that will kind of light up from behind. I'll, I'll show you a picture. It's not quite done. I still got to paint and and take care of the area where the uh, barn door glider thing was. I need to do some patchwork, but I'm so excited. It just looks so, so much more streamlined, but came out here to paint, get out of everybody's way. Didn't want to be bossy. <laughs> <laughs> so here I am on a beautiful day where I'd rather be lounging by my lanai, but uh, I'm excited to paint. Always, always am, especially when I'm working on one of these edge canvases. Everybody asks me where I get the edge canvas. Just Google edge canvas and Jerry's Artorama will come up. Now, look around when it does pop up because you'll see regular uh, edge canvases and then you'll see these extra long ones they come in I mean I have some over there that are eight inches wide and 50 inches long they're super cool and super fun to play with let, let me show you a painting I did recently on one just so you can get an idea how you can use it I believe this is an eight by 40 and I just love these canvases they're fun to play with now this isn't done I thought I was done but I stare at my paintings for weeks before I varnish them sometimes and uh, I love my coconuts I did it with uh, some texture paste to give them some uh, some um, um but my trunk is too dark um so i'm going to go back in and fix this but these canvases are an absolute blast let me get this out of the way and i love them and i'm using it today because i'm going to do multiple traveling jiggle pours jigger Jiggle, <laughs> Jiggle Pours is one of the classes that I'll be teaching at the Fluid Art Experience coming up quick and quick, guys. Fluid Art Experience, Asheville, May 23rd, 24th, and 25th. We are right downtown in the heart of things. And uh, it's just going to be a blast going back to uh, my home there in Asheville. Um... But I got yummy colors, cool canvas, but I also wanted to talk about my slop bucket paints. This is my slop bucket paint. Now, what is this? This one is a combination of a bunch of different slop bucket paints. Some that were very red, some that were orangey red, some that were yellowy red. I had about that much in these small containers, so I married them all together. Now, some of them have been sitting for a little while, and I don't know if you have ever pulled paint out of a container and found some chunkiness in it. That's because sometimes the paint on the side of my TCP container, that's what these are. They're called TCP containers. They have lids. Uh, these are 16 ounce sizes. I also have a 10 ounce size and I married a bunch of 10 ounce sizes in this cup. But if they've been sitting a while, I strain them again. So it was originally, I put them all in this cup, stirred them up really good, and then I strained it in this cup. These are just kind of throwaway paper mesh strainers. This one is from Trimeco, which uh, you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot. But um, I double strained them. And that makes me happy to think that I don't have any goobers. And then what I do with those TCP cups, after I empty them all out, I leave a little bit of paint kind of at the bottom, set them aside without the lid to let them dry. And because I left a little bit of a paint down at the bottom, I can reach in there usually with a little skewer and kind of bust a hole in that paint once it's dry grab it and pull it out and it removes 
all the paint on the sides and it's very satisfying to do. So that's how I clean my T TCP containers, which I get at Amazon. So slop bucket paint is just a bunch of leftovers that I scraped up from under the painting leftovers where I keep a little bit in a cup until my painting is completely dry and done. And then I empty them into a slop bucket. Generally, I have to doctor them up a little bit with some GAC 800, a little water if they have thickened up, all depends on what the technique I'm doing. Now, slop bucket paint or my flow extender is a little bit thinner than my other colors. I use it just to keep my ring pours or my jiggle pours when I start to move with them. If you do not put a um, flow extender or a base coat down, you'll find that that paint, when you start to tilt it after you poured it out of your cup, the composition rolls over itself and you lose some of your composition. So that's why we put a flow extender down. So let's talk about our other colors um, because they're my jam. Right here we have golden fluids in the Van Dyke Brown. Now this was mixed a little different because it's a fluid paint. I put a little bit of gel gloss medium from Liquitex in the cup added my paint, stirred that up real good, and then added my pouring medium, which is 50% Floetrol, 50% Liquitex pouring medium, and I also give every paint a healthy squirt of GAC 800. So all these paints are mixed the same, except my Amsterdam paints. This right here is Arteza, and this is their Bordeaux Red. That is my Mac Mac paint. I love that paint. Actually, I got that wrong. That is Golden Fluids, the Alzerian Crimson Hue. This was mixed just like the Van Dyke Brown because it's a fluid paint. I needed to use the uh, gel gloss medium to help thicken it up. This next paint is my Mac Mac paint, the Arteza. Bordeaux Red. This is a more of a medium body paint. I just used my regular pouring medium, but I went a little heavy on the paint. I'm about one part paint to two, maybe two and a half parts pouring medium. And don't forget about that squirt of GAC 800. Amsterdam Expert Series. Good paints cost a little bit more. Pigment is high, which means you need less paint. They're also thick as mud. This took absolutely no um, gel gloss medium. It's the paint right out of the bottle, a squirt of GAC 800, and then my pouring medium, 50% Floetrol, 50% Liquitex pouring medium. These paints are thick. A fold on a fold on a fold, or a blob on a blob on a blob. So basically the fluid paints Got the gel gloss medium to help thicken them up because they're fluid. Last paint is Amsterdam Standard Series. Not quite as good as the Expert Series, but pretty darn good. Very thick as well. This got absolutely no gel gloss medium to thicken it up. It's just paint, GAC 800, and my pouring medium. Did I make anybody's head spin? <laughs> I hope not. But if I did, reach out causecreationsart at gmail.com and I'll answer any questions that you might have. Going to do a, just a bunch of multiple jiggle pours. What is a jiggle pour? It's kind of a straight pour that I move with and I jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. I don't ring, ring, ring. So I call it a jiggle pour. Doesn't matter what you call it. Um, it's what I do. I jiggle with my cup as I go. Um, I think that's it, guys. I think I covered everything. If not, check the description box out. It'll have a list of all the colors, the pouring medium used, and anything else that I can uh, think about putting in there to help you along with your painting journey, guys. Come to Asheville, come paint with us. It's going to be a blast and I just can't wait, guys. Let's get busy. Was it all?
try my best to move on.